Hey, Chapel here, and today we're going to be playing as the other new character that's just added in the Gunfire Reborn DLC, so it's the Owl, Zizal, I think uh, it's pronounced, I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, this guy's complicated. He's a lot more complicated than uh, Nona was. Um, I mean, all of his abilities just have so much text. Um, all I know is it's something to do with um, scrolls, rarities and such. I think you want to have a lot of matching of the same rarity. Um, but regardless, I'm not sure how important that's going to be. I'm just going to play as normal, see how it goes. And we got given a um, hero-specific blessing straight away, so we give that a go. So plus 200% damage and one more use of Falling Star. Affected by Cult Scrolls in the backpack. Oh, okay, so the extra damage is affected by the scrolls you have. For a chance to upgrade. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I know it's like the more matching rarities of the same thing you get uh, when you cast your primary, I think the uh, sort of more damage it does. Um, and if it's a mix of rarities, then it does like an impure one, which is like the rubbishy version. And it looks like the uh, the really kind of buffed up ones are significantly stronger than the impure. So I think eventually you do want to get to your build to a point where it is a high upgraded one. It seems to hit, like, pretty hard just as default, so... See, I have no idea what his secondary does too, but... I might have to read that properly as well. So, obtain... And summon three cards for protection. Cards can track enemies. Uh... Oh my god, <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend I know what it's talking about there, so, uh... All I know is, you press the button, it's going to track enemies and do damage, that's all I'll uh, worry about for now. Oh, and let's not die from the get-go. And we got the vault up there to do afterwards. Um, place one. Okay. So, the blessing I took was for Falling Star, right? So, we want to take Falling Star. For the place one lowest quality asterisk with a wild. A chance for a place two. Okay. Yeah, out of any of the characters added in the game so far, this is definitely the most difficult one to figure out what it's actually talking about conceptually, because outside of the basic thing of, oh, it's about scrolls, yeah, I, I don't really know um, like what I'm meant to be doing exactly. But the skills themselves are like, seem pretty smooth. Acquired weapons always have two exclusive- wow. Oh, okay. Well, that seems like a really insane one to get right off the bat. That's a uh, new scroll. Oh. Oh, if only it rolled the uh the good inscription here. 
Oh, I, I use it for now. It's got double oranges, so... Yeah, that's really good. This scroll just getting the guaranteed. Uh, plus, when clearing an impure Astro House, otherwise. Uh, when clearing a legendary. Okay. Well, right now I'm getting impure, so this will definitely be good at the moment. So our scrolls are on the house. Another decent one to get early. It's not the best thing ever, but if I am going to get it, then right at the start's the best time to get it. And a good defensive scroll. Fight for immortality. Good old one-shot protection on our bosses. So it's main use. Okay. Oh dear, we have not got a uh, good setup for this. In fact, I think I would like to get stuff from Peddler here. Hmm. Minus. Let's try that. Okay, and I'll have a quick visit to the Phantom Peddler as well. Oh, wow. For each. Plus 10% damage for each elite or boss. What's different to the normal one? You've def defeated or assisted in, in the entire run. I, I don't see how that's different to a regular one. Also, yeah, I, I want a, this Sunder. That's really insane with uh, fireballs. Sunder's always like a great weapon with uh, any kind of ball effect on it. Is this one? Oh, that one's a large ammo too, that's a little annoying. I, I thought that's a room over. I'm speaking too soon there. Oh. Yeah, considering uh, I think my blessing is for my primary, it isn't. Uh, isn't doing much at the moment, probably because it's like the impure version. So, from first glance, it seems like this character's not amazing early on. Um, maybe I, because, yeah, this is matching up with that, so I, I might just try the uh, Cloud Weaver for now. Get the Corrosive Balls. Okay. Obtain plus two capacity. If falling stars is an impure, place two lowest quality with wild. So wild is the one where you have curse scrolls. So is 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 that good having a curse one? Who knows. <laughs> Nice, another chess room. Wow. That's really lucky, actually. 
got two different boulders rooms, so yeah, a total of four uh, four scrolls is really good. Overwhelming shield, that's another legendary. Really good. Because yeah, I'm wondering if it's a case of um, you try to get to, because I think it's like 10 of a scroll type you need to guarantee getting the buffed up Astra House. So I, I'm wondering if you get uh, 10 legendary scrolls would be the best one. Uh, then you just drop the other scrolls to be guaranteeing the uh, the big primary skills. So I'll I'll see when it comes to it if that seems like a good idea. But uh, for now, I guess we just take any scroll we see. Because I think yeah, you need um need ten scrolls anyway to get the maxed out Astra House. we go. The brick. Nope. Yeah, I was not a fan of the uh, brick last time. I, I, I know, I've heard uh, I've heard others saying, in the, playing the update so far, they actually quite like the brick, but um, I was trying it on Nona, so maybe she just didn't have the weapon damage buffs needed to kind of back it up properly, because I was playing... Uh, the build where um the mech is the main damage dealer but uh yeah the the brick in itself there didn't feel good despite being like good inscriptions well upgraded so there we go each protection oh okay nah let's scrap it Got a red chest here. Oh, here we go. If Astra House for Falling Star is the same as last time, plus 45%, then the probability of <laughs> fill all empty slots and clear the Astra House CD two seconds. I have no, I, I'll just take the base damage. <laughs> Oh god. It hurts my head. Oh wow. Fireball, corrosive ball. Two shot chance. Fireball. I don't think any of them are that insane though. Okay. Increased weapon damage by 15%. Uh, I'm wondering, I feel like... Surely this does good damage, right? I, I mostly want to take this one right now just to uh, see how much damage it does. Because those are good inscriptions. Oh wait! Crap, it's Golem! I, I didn't even realise. Okay, that's maybe a silly decision to take Wild Hunt then. Yeah. Yeah, I've not got good weapons for clearing these. Oh my god. Wait, the, just did so much damage there though. What? I, I don't know, because I think I saw like a thing showing it's a legendary Astra House, but I have no idea. Reset. Uh. Oh, lightning bolt. Okay, we want that for sure. Okay. And we'll delete that. Contain. 
Well, that's you literally useless. With every... Okay, that's the only one, because like, I just got Advanced Depot, so some of those were kind of bad there. Right. No, that's useless. So occult boosters definitely the play out of those three. I don't want the battle scar. I like defensive ones. A bit boring to take right now. So but yeah, we do have the nice uh, depot or of venom combo with a. Uh, or of a venom that spews lightning balls for my asthma, so. That said, wait, why is he not taking. The lightning balls weren't dealing elemental effect there. Interesting. Maybe there's an effect he had on. I, I didn't see what effect he had. There we go. Oh wow, okay. That, that must have been a big Astro house, because. That, uh, that did, like, multiple hits there, which means it's uh, not an impure one. Oh, I've pissed away all of my ammo. Oopsie. Yeah, I definitely have some ammo issues right now, so I maybe can't use the... the uh, or of Venom as much as I was there. Uh, I was kind of just spamming it, so... Oh, I still have no ammo? Here we go. Finally. <laughs> and we've got a bit of aura of venom ammo if needed. But I'll save that if there's something big that I can't um, kill normally. Oh god. Lightning powerful. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, like the uh the strong versions are going off every now and then, but I'm not sure why. Uh where's he gone? There he is. <laughs> there we go. Deploy a shield on yourself after dealing two crits. Oh, nice. I didn't know that was a uh, inscription you could get on it, but I don't think it's good right now. I don't think either of these are good weapons. I'll just stick with my current setup. And a probability of is 100. Fill all empty slots and clear the Astra House. I'll, I'll just take that, because it's, it's a one-pointer anyway. And it sounds like it does something, because I think there are so many of mine right now which uh, are just doing a single hit, so they're just impure ones. So, regardless, it looks like it's going to give us some good value. Okay. Let's see what we get. 
filled with metal, untold effort, paranormality. Uh, hmm, I'm not sure, I think. That's just wait. Reset. What? Upgrade strategy. Normal, least, legend. Oh my god, I don't have a clue what it's talking about. Uh, my shields are already constantly recharging. I think all of these are pretty, uh, pretty bad here. Um. So. Let's just take untold effort. I don't like the idea of swapping all my HP to shields right now. I'd rather have the mixed health bar. Because, yeah, taking paranormality when you don't have the synergies is an absolute death sentence. And I don't have any defensive stuff that I know of right now, so... I'm really not sure if I should have taken that untold effort either, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that the cards themselves aren't doing much damage, but I need them for something else in the kit. Let's see if I can get a better weapon here. But yeah, I'm going to drop this and scrap it, I think. Uh, that's a normal scroll. And guarantees crit hits for a short time. Uh, nope. Okay, I quite like the scorching rounds. I'll take the enhanced scroll, why not? Oh, crap, that was my... Uh oh, I need something with different ammo type. There you go, that'll do. But yeah. Wait, reset. What? Okay. Oh, God, that's awful. That's so bad. I'm not taking that. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't know it was going to um, swap to a sort of high tier legendary there, but um, it's just a real shame that that's the legendary it swapped to, because that's awful. Like, it's quite possibly one of the worst scrolls in the game, like, not just among legendaries, it's just flat out awful. Okay. Okay, I've actually got some Scorching Round ammo now, nice. And it's another... Another Boulder Vault. I've been getting a ridiculous number of, um... The, oh, the Double Scroll Vaults. This run. Like, I got two in Act 1 and I've had two in uh, Act 2 as well. Uh, no, I can do better than that, can do better than that, can do better than that. I mean, I've got so much Soul Essence. Uh, free, free? Nah. Oh, come on.
Okay, this is uh, getting expensive. Oh well. Ah, oh, take brutal gloves. They seem to all be uh, all be normal there though. I didn't read the um, the red chest effect, but maybe it's all just normal scrolls. Like the shield, easy pick, lovely stuff. And we've got a red chest too. I didn't notice that. Okay. Uh, yeah, more money. It was this buff down here. After shooting, shooting rate improves a maximum of. Shooting rate improves to a maximum of. Okay. Ah, oh, I see. So you do want to be kind of just spamming cards, so. Maybe I should have taken the one where you get the uh, secondary skill uh, capacity. Oh, there we go. Big falling star there. Oh, wait, what? Get away from me. Oh no, I don't want to be near him. Yeah, that's uh, not clever being so near a rogue villain there. Yeah, on it, it, it feels like you can really spam out cards for extra damage, so I think the secondary skill capacity was better than the weapon and skill damage that I took there. So yeah, look, I'm really able to... Uh, run low on my cards. Oh, and my ammo, apparently. Nice. Big damage. Okay, scrap that. Otherwise, 35% cooldown. Yeah, I'll just keep maxing that out. I did see a defensive there, but honestly, I think I'm doing pretty alright on defense now via scrolls, especially after getting a lightless shield. I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, nice. I'll have a quick look around. See if there's a red chest up here or anything. Nope. Okay. Oh, let's get rid of the rogue arsonist first. We'll try to. There we go. still feel like can do a lot better weapon wise than this uh, scorching round because it's still not brilliant. But it could be a lot worse as well. Peddler here, got a vault over there. Okay, he's armored. There we go. that one. Okay. 
and one more left. Oh, out of ammo. There we go. Okay. Uh, and... Oh, that's annoying, we already had that weapon. Uh... I'll take the fire scale. Reset. And sure, it's a healing. Healing scroll. I don't think I've got any healing yet. In this. Yeah, the damage feels awful. Oh no, oh, I think I'm dead. Oh dear. Yeah, I just got caught in the fire there. Yeah, it wasn't good. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really too sure how to play that because I was trying to just, like, um, stay away from, uh, the fire by being melee range of him, but the other stuff got way too close. Um, I think it's just terrific crossfire here because we're trying to build around primary school. But yeah, that's the only revive we have, so gotta chill now. And, yeah probably find some more ways to stay alive because that's trouble as well it's a fight that's not very good for lightless shield and it's hard to kind of dodge everything there i was dodging the sniper of course but when i get a uh, fire patch thrown on top of me whilst i'm already trying to uh, avoid the elite it's uh, not easy i could have maybe found a um better spot though where I could be out of line of sight of the lizard but yeah I didn't think I was uh, gonna die there. Well I thought I'd kill the elite faster more than anything I thought that the uh, primary skills there, the astro houses would do uh, a bit more damage but nah it's pretty slow uh, killing the elite. Another fire scale. <laughs> oh. Yep. Oh, I missed. Let's not get hit by him. Where's the uh, sniper gun? Oh, I think it's dead. There we go. Red chests. Oh, the last two red chests have been pretty bad. Not the kind of things I've been looking for. Just the tiny bit of cash rather than sort of scrolls or anything actually useful. Uh, there is a chance to obtain two times as many Astra specs. Plus 10 max shield for every slot and taking damage there's a chance to immune it CD 12 seconds. I mean that sounds good. I think that I preserve um, Lightless Shield stacks as well if I take damage, um, and I've got that on. Uh, evil Banishing? Sure. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
I'm wondering if any, because, yeah, these weapons aren't great right now. I'll take the hell over this one. And, uh, yeah, I won't upgrade anything yet, though. Can wait to get a Gemini weapon next stage. I could have paid for a heal there, but I, I don't think I need it. Okay, that wasn't bad damage. Oh dear. Can't be taking random hits like that though. Okay. Oh nice, you just got you landed in the uh the big astro house. Oh god. I took a massive hit there. I got plus 114 shield from um, my fight for immortality. So yeah, I must have got hit by the actual leap, which, yeah, not smart. I have still got my lightless shield stacked right now, so I am somewhat safe, but... Yeah, once again, the damage is just quite slow at the moment. Uh-oh. Here we go. Yeah, it just doesn't feel like I got a proper um, build going just yet. Elemental power, okay. Don't want that. Nope. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of any of these. Yeah. If the Astro House. Sure, I'll just take more things for Astro House. Uh, nope, nope. Okay. Uh, I mean, fake death is probably. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I can't lie, I've already made one mistake this run, I could see it happening again, why not take fake death? <laughs> Just for the sake of trying to uh, get to the end of this. <laughs> I'm definitely not having uh, as, as easy as a time as I was on Nona. And hey, like by the end of the run might have sort of a better build going on, because it feels like it's slowly getting there, but... Um, yeah, I, I don't think it's it's coming online as close as it would be for a lot of, um, or as fast as it would be for a lot of other characters, and the fact that um, I'm not really uh, sure what it is I'm working towards doesn't help. Because like, like, I think it's to do with if you have... 10 scrolls of all the same type, then um, it will guarantee the correct one every time. Um, and if, if that is the case, then yeah, I'm pretty sure if I hit 10 legendaries, I would just drop everything else so that it's guaranteed. Because, yeah, it's, it's so much more damage when I get a big one, and... Um, all the scrolls I have on sort of epic or lower are like okay, but they're, they're not essential. Like none of these are really essential. My best ones are on legendary right now, so. 
But anyway, we've got another vault here. Does, does that do anything? In fact, you... No, okay, that's just for the targeting. Is cleared through obtaining Astrospect randomly until slots are filled. Causing, according to the Astro House, afterwards Astro House is cleared. We'll form a legend. <laughs> oh God! <clears throat> Cards track enemies. Within a seven meter radius and deal five hundred damage for each card. According to the initial chance and quality of the occult scrolls. So right now it says fifty six percent legendary summary. So have these been like upgraded to appear as legendary. It's, it says about me having a, a 1% chance for a, uh, a like, um, curse scroll one. I don't have curse scrolls, so I'm not sure how that works. I think there was one of the, uh, one of the, what's it called, ascensions I took that said something about making the, um, Astro House Curse, so it might be because of that. But it's just super low chance of that happening. Yeah, oh, my weapons feel horrible. I really need to get a uh, Gemini going, because right now, like, I'm doing primary skill, that's just all my damage. Like, out outside of that. So, yeah, I... Okay, so I really need to be using secondary skill as much as possible to actually get good. Because... Hey, I definitely don't care about weapon damage, you're just going to take more falling star damage. Ooh. Oh, obtain reroll. Uh, sure. Fireball. Fireball and spores. Yeah, sure. Uh, this can go into a spore weapon later on, I guess. Can't go wrong with that. I'll just find, yeah, something else with Spore set up. And, it, yeah, at least for now, it means I'll have a proper Gemini weapon. But... God, the lucky shot seems really high as well. It's hitting a lot of red.
Oh, don't miss the peddler. Elemental cube. And anything else worth taking? Uh, oh, wait, yeah, something with spores would be good. I forgot about that. Uh, is there, yeah, Crossman's right there. I'm just going to take a radioactive gauntlet and swap it into spores and just run that for now. And I won't do any upgrades on the, actually, I got 8k gold. Yeah, you know what? Uh, nah, screw it. I'll, I'll do upgrades on the gauntlet, though, and then just find a better spore weapon. It feels like a, a waste when I'm probably going to replace the Sunder. So I may as well at least get um, get the buffs on a weapon I think I'll probably keep around. Nice. Oh, there we go. That's that's a big one. Oh god, yeah, and that's two. Uh, that's two legendary falling stars back to back. So they get increased damage for each one back to back. That's the same quality as well. So if I get two back to back legendaries, that's really really big damage. Bad one. There we go, that's a good one. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> It is definitely very noticeable if it's a legendary. I think outside of that, I'm, I can't really tell what sort it is, but the legendary one is huge. Yes, yeah, so that's a normal one it flashed up with. There's a legendary. Oh wow, I missed the timing so many times there on gauntlets. Yeah, I can't say uh, it's doing great damage right now. Thank God for Lightless Shield. Let's get rid of those as well. Actually, I'm in an awful spot here. Okay. Yeah, like, I'd kind of rather turn this into a uh, miasma weapon rather than also, wow, I just used up my armor. <laughs> yeah, that's an impure one and it did not hit for anything. Okay. Oh, nice. 400% base damage, 30%. Yeah, that's a big damage boost by the sounds of it. And I'm one off the max rank of a uh, couple different things there. Oh. Wait, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to take this instead. I feel like I've got a AoE already from the primary skill, and this one's a lot more single target than the uh, radioactive gauntlet, so it's a bit of a shame that I used my uh, weapon upgrades on that, but uh, it's not the end of the world. i still got 7,000 gold. There we go. Oh. There we go. There's a vault. Elite. Uh-oh. 
This could be a bit scary. Oh wow, my ammo is gone already. That's insane how quick that was. Oh my god, he's so f Oh my god. This ain't good. Okay, at least I dodged that one, but... Oh, yeah, look at how bad my damage is. Oh, that's... Okay. That's fake death gone. Good job I took that. Okay. I feel like I'm in a better spot now to just cut out. There we go. Oh no, thank god I took um, fake death. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I'm playing this so badly, but it's, it's also just a really hard character. And... Oh, okay, that's a good, uh, good thing to get. Um, but yeah, it's, it's hard to get the hang of this character and I feel like I've not got the best build ever because of that, because I'm not sure what I should be doing. So if I, if I do reset, wait, oh, okay, I thought that pressing reset there would turn it into a legendary because that's what I had often, um, often been doing. But yeah, it's just kind of a... I'm a bit all over the place with um, what sort of build I'm trying to do, because I I don't I don't look at uh, the owl here and think oh yeah yeah I, I need to do do that I need to do this like mo most of the things in this game it's like you look at it and from from playing other stuff you kind of know like what sort of thing you need to build uh, and how you should kind of play like the other new characters that have come out so far that's all been the case. But I think this is one, it would just need more, um, more learning what it does, and just more experimenting with stuff. Um, it, it's a bit like that with, uh, with Monkey as a character, to be fair. But I think after you got the, um, the gist of, uh, what his things did, there was a few things that, like, came to mind immediately. Like, as soon as figured out the kind of, uh, shotgun essence chain builds were good, like, that kind of thing, then... Um, or the shotgun like primary build and the essence chain ones. It's like what well, once you realize those kind of things is Really easy to be like oh, yeah, just take that on monkey and it's fine, but um this guy because it is, it's all to do with uh, Rarities and stuff. It's very um, very different um, Different style of uh, scaling up a character But, um, hey, it, it does seem like I have got a good number of ascensions now, which are helping out a ton, um, compared to, uh, compared to before. Because I'm, I'm seeing a lot more of the legendary Astra Houses as well. I say that, I get two normals back-to-back, -back. oops. But I, I don't know if I really get many Impures anymore, but there we go, there's another legendary. Oh, god. I didn't realise he was cloning. I didn't pay attention to that. Nice. Uh, it'd be good to get corrosive um, for this thing. Uh, I'll take more max HP. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to get corrosive right now on the scorching rounds. Because uh, right now we've only got a uh, Miasma combo, which could be a lot better. Uh, 
Uh, sure, I'll take that. None of those are very good there, unfortunately. And we only get one uh, ascension left before it's um, the Act 4 ascensions, where you only get one choice. So hopefully you get a rank free of a, a good one here. Uh, nope. Okay, oh wait. Uh, damn, yeah, that wasn't wasn't a corrosive. Oh well. I'll upgrade the Scorching Rounds. I'm not sure if adding an inscription would help because we're hard capped at, uh, at four, so... Um, I don't think we'll be able to add an inscription, and I, I don't want to waste the gold on doing that, if that's the case. That was a awful amount of damage. Okay, that's a bit better. Still not great, though. Should be completely fine versus this boss, so even if it takes a while, because have got lightless shields that just kind of... Actually, the summons can just kick all those stacks away, so I could actually be in danger still. Okay. Okay, two legendaries back to back. Nice. Oh, done. There goes one. Oh, God. Oh, not good. I am being kicked everywhere. Oh no. It's very lucky for my scrolls there, because I I was just dead once again if uh if it wasn't for that. Oh I, I can actually hit it on them whilst they're in the water over there, that's handy to know. So Okay, should be dead in a sec. No, tiny bit more. Come on, 6,000. Oh, what? I miss. There we go. <laughs> oh, dear. Deadly counter, nice. Yes! Okay, that's what we wanted to see. 600% base damage if there are empty slots. 660% with a chance of 100%. Oh my god. That sounds good. Uh, okay. No. Now I would run out of ammo immediately if I use that Angelic Aura. Okay, yeah, that is a large amount more damage from that ascension there. It feels like finally come online a bit. Yeah, go. still taking a while to kill these guys. There we go. <laughs> oh, wait, does it just... Oh, wait. Is that, like, a guaranteed legendary on the next? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, there's a red chest over there. Yeah, what does the chances say now on my 69% for a legendary? Okay. Can't 
hit. There we go. Get him. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it's, it's like I do no damage, no damage, no damage, and then you get one big burst of damage every now and then. But it overall just makes uh, makes the character feel inconsistent, and and that that's the last thing you want in this game. You you like things being consistent because it's easy to die if if you do nothing for a bit and then do tons in uh, one go because yeah the enemies get pretty uh pretty scary at this point in the run but i have a lot of ways to keep myself alive even if i'm uh, being stupid and get hit by stuff like that has bailed me out a lot already but like look when there's when these things are able to just charge in my face like, I'm going to die eventually to something like that. When it gets, like, the cavalry ones and stuff, then I'm not sure how I'm staying alive with my current setup. Because, yeah, there's nothing you can really do to even uh, dodge it at this point. Like, that's the kind of enemy where if, if it can get to you, you uh, just kind of die if you're backed into a, a corner or if you can't move uh, fast enough away. And there's already so many things to try and dodge that... Um, yeah, I think it'd be tricky. But I, I, I gotta say, it's very, it's very satisfying. Like every now and then, seeing the like a big Astra House damage. But when it's uh, <laughs> when it feels like you're just hitting for nothing the rest of the time, like that, that doesn't feel great. But like I say as well, I, I think it's it's from there's probably a different way that you build him or something like that to to reset. And that's bad. We don't take that. Because, yeah, he has this whole, like, resetting scrolls thing as well. So may, maybe I should just be kind of resetting a lot more often um, to try and just get better quality scrolls from the get-go. And then straight up not taking them if they're poor quality. Like it might be that that's the uh, better kind of way to uh, build him. Because it sort of takes away the uh, RNG at that point. And there comes a point where like a lot of the, a lot of the common and rare scrolls, they're not doing anything like that important. Like a lot of the, oh god. A lot of the synergies and stuff that are most important um, will be coming from your ascensions and all the other bits you're getting um, later on into the run. I'm having a real problem with having enough uh, secondary skills as well right now. Also, just this this weapon just not feeling great. Like uh, I I. I think I just want to get a Miasma combo right now because um, that, that's also uh, one of the trouble I, I have currently is that I'm taking a combustion setup and I don't have um, weapon damage to go along with it. I'm all kind of all in on skill damage. So I think I just want to find something with corrosion right now, which unfortunately I can't see any of. Oh, that's really annoying. Um, oh. Wait a sec. That will do the job for now. And also it has the gimmick of the shield removal. Is it the... 
Okay. It's the big lightning balls as well. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll just take this then for now. It's just, um, I don't care about the, um, combustion, so I will swap the scorching rounds for something corrosive as soon as I can. Uh, that's awful. Because, yeah, we got the advanced depot, so the whole last shot thing is not, uh, something that matters. Oh, there we go. Good damage. Oh, God. Robust. Get away from me. Oh my, you see, look, th this was exactly what I was worried about, these enemies. There we go. Thank God. Because, yeah, I was, I was having a bad time with the normal penguins, and those things are basically the normal penguins, but worse. And let's not die to these. <laughs> Just broke my whole shield to that as well. <laughs> Elites. Uh oh. Not looking forward to this. Okay. So, yeah, there's the cavalry. Oh, wow. What? Okay. Okay, the damage is actually good so far. Oh, he's running so fast though. Come here. No, and I missed. Oh, nice, okay. We got him. Just the thunderous stalker left. It's certainly not that one, it's too squishy, right? Yeah. running out of large ammo. I uh, don't, don't have a weapon anymore, pretty much. Is it him? I think it's that one. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm so bad at telling this. Okay. It's definitely this one this time. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Oh, okay, nice. Oh, that is a uh, corrosive weapon too. I'll swap this to elemental share before I go ahead. 50% when clearing. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really, really good. Oh, lovely ascension RNG. That's the thing. I feel like I've got so lucky with ascensions as well. <laughs> And I'll give a common one away. That's basically used up all its value now. So, And what's my chances now of 66% of a legendary? Where was he? Was he right at the start? Ah, oh, screw it. I'll, I'll do the next section with no Gemini. I'll just roll it for Polmonarch. I'm sure I'll be fine. I just got another upgrade through my ascension, so... I'm bad if I <laughs> if I mess up. I shouldn't need my asthma. Like my weapons are already doing nothing now. Okay. Yeah, the cooldowns are so short now. Wait, I'll maybe stick with this still. It actually does both. There's no way that's reaching from there. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I've had to proc fake death multiple times this run. <laughs> it's like I've actually died a total of like three times. These things have to go ASAP. There's still one more. 
once these are gone, I'm pretty, uh, pretty confident. Need to kill the flying saucers, though. There we go, another legendary proc. There we go, now just the second flying saucer. Nice. Ta-da! Oh, well there's one with share element. I guess I'll just take that then. <laughs> That's not a bad one to get. Okay, let's see how it goes this fight. Okay, and wait, I've got my... Uh, it's only weapon damage, wow, that's annoying. I'm not sure which one contributes more damage out of upgrades there, or actual... Uh... Okay, seems good so far. And how quick can we get through that? Okay, I'll, I'll use enough time. Oh. Oh wow, there goes ammo. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh god. Okay, if I can get a legendary Astro House whilst, yeah, we go. We tanks the whole thing. Okay, we got it. There we go, nice. Oh, well, we technically won. Um, <laughs> that, that wasn't very clean. Uh, like I said, I, I felt like I was just so confused by this character the whole time, but <laughs> there you go, That that is a showcase of it. Um, we did actually have good ascensions by the look of it, got all of them for Falling Star, although... That's interesting. Yeah, because didn't see a single one of this, I don't think. Deal damage to the enemy with the highest HP with for every hit caused by Falling Star. Continuously move to the nearest enemy. Extra damage is also dealt when killing an enemy. Uh... Cause yeah, that that one's interesting, but I think that doesn't really contribute as much on bosses, which, yeah, the boss and elite damage did seem like the worst bit. The damage at the end there on Polemark was okay, but I think throughout there was some real big problems with elites. There were two different elite fights where I just did no damage and ended up having deaths because of it. And then, uh, I mean, towards the end there was a couple of deaths just from... Or close to deaths at the very least as well on the uh, penguins, the flamethrowers. Um, so yeah, it seems tricky to figure this this out, but it's an interesting character design either way. And I, I think it's like, it's not a bad thing to have these sort of really complicated long walls of text type characters um, amongst the ones that are easy. And I think that they've done a... Um, it's a good idea, the fact that they've released one character who's super easy, like, it st still has a bit to kind of read about, but it clicks quite quick with, uh, no, no, you're, you're like, oh, okay, that does that, that does that, and she's easy to figure out and have fun with. I think this guy, he's g gonna take some figuring out, but it's, uh, it's interesting kit either way, and visually it looks really nice. But yeah, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed um, 56 minute run in the end, so was fairly slow overall as well, nearly an hour long. But yeah, I'll see you guys around. Bye.